What is up, everyone? Welcome back to Fountain of Youth. So you might be wondering what we're doing on this uh, little remote island over here, and uh, not not on the main island back there. So I was uh, just mapping out the uh, outskirts of of the island, and uh, I noticed something over over here that I wanted to share with you guys so we're on the this little island here that is uh, basically straight north from the from the starter island and uh, like a little bit southeast of, of the lonely rock which is over there and uh, if you come over over here there's a skeleton laying here with the uh, portable beacon recipe so I have no idea if that's useful but I figured uh, I'd uh, share it with you guys so it emit, emits red smoke for a very long time okay I'd have to give it a try at some point so um, I also between the episodes I ended up making the making the raft to see what what that's all about and it seems that uh, like this is uh, the fully upgraded raft there's three like tiers I guess for the raft as well so there's the just the basic raft then you have the improved raft which uh, gives you the um, container for storage and and an improved bed like the basic one just has the bed on it and then this is the solid raft which has a log storage which uh yeah you can you can put six logs on in this uh little box here and then you also you know have the ship's protected box you can only only have a uh, hundred weight on this one but the uh, log transportation is is definitely definitely nice so i'll be stripping out this this island from the from the logs but uh as for the uh for the video today I want to kind of finish up the uh, the starter island so I figured I'll just come down here probably on this shore here and then we'll go through hopefully all of these uh, interesting sites over here and uh, do the do the cartographer tree up here and uh, then we'll see see what the time is at that point but uh, yeah, I'll I'll chop down these uh, these trees here and uh, meet you guys back on the main island. And here we are, right in early next day. So we are currently over here on the map. So I just figured I might as well go through these in order and get the cartographer tree and this special object on the way back to the back to the raft. So. Let's see what kind of uh, trouble we can get ourselves into. Looks like there's at least a bird hovering over here. And a couple of chickens. Oh, and there's uh, one of those dogs up there too, so... Need to try and get these guys one at a time. Uh, I think the bird's stuck on the rock. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Oh, sounds like... Uh, there's a coyote somewhere over here too. Where'd the bird go? Oh, rolled down the hill. Let's get some more feathers. I don't really need the... Need the trophies, but I'll just chuck it if, if I need the room. Good night, doggy. Would like to get the get the coyote for the um, tendon thread. I see it down down there. Switch out to the. 
to the other arrows and see what we can do here. Oh, apparently it was a one shot kill. That's nice. The obsidian arrows definitely do some, do some damage. So, tendon threads too, and let's just get the meat. I'm not gonna. Oh, and my knife's almost broken. That's not good. Oh, but I have another one. Uh, can get two of these with the ten durability. I like to use the all of the durability of the tools. And the reason why I didn't uh, didn't uh, bother repairing the the knife is uh, you lose the like maximum durability every time you do so after. I don't know, like two or three times. It's, in my opinion, it's it's better to make uh, make a new one than keep keep uh, like uh, kind of wasting the materials with the lower durability. If that makes sense. Now let's see, where are we? Okay, so it's just a little bit to the left here, looks like. Sitting on a log here. Jaguar potion. I don't think I've had one of those. What's this? Uh, provides unlimited stamina for 12 hours. Oh. Huh. Sounds... Sounds useful. Nothing oh, else here. Oh, well, that was a quick stop. Uh, so I guess... That's the next one we're gonna get to, and there's looks like there's a bunch of bunch of dogs along the way, so I have to keep my eyes out for those guys. Yeah, there's one on the, on the left there. Not really gonna bother killing them unless they start causing issues. Looks like this guy down here is gonna cause some issues because there's also the bird up there so I really don't want two of them coming at me at, at the same time so I think I'm gonna have to oh missed him come on there we go now is the bird gonna down here or well if I go poking close enough to its nest it's gonna come down come on thank you I don't really need the feathers either but Oh, we went way too too far south, so Let's see. Looks like there's a structure that way. Okay, so that's there, so still need to go up here. Here we go. See something flashing. Oh, and I see Oh, I thought these were these were clay, but they're just coconuts. That sucks. Oh, some free bone arrows. And a piece of native's map again. So what's that? Four pieces, okay. So I think I need one more to be able to use them to map out a new area. What do we get from here? Oh, we got some coal and I didn't bring my shovel. Well, of course I didn't. Else, oh, it looks like there's another arrow and a couple more bones. That's it. I have to come back here off camera and get the coal because I don't currently have a way to way to get get the coal otherwise. Uh, so, Song of the Wrath of Mortals. It was not long before mortals realized who poisoned the wells, and hatred for the immortals blazed up more than ever, and awoke the terrible rage which was destined to burn the immortals 
to ashes. Horrible was their hatred as they were poisoned and devoid of healing. Weak were their bodies, but their spirit craved for death of their enemies more than their own living. Casting away everything else or mortals when went on the great hunt for immortals. And there was no island befallen, no stone unturned, no cave unsought. And all immortals, immortals were found, and most of them slain in blo bloody battles. For there was no limit to the rage of the poisoned who found their poisoners. And the last of best people fell in the year of high sun, defeated by the rage of sick and dying mortals. Okay, so I guess they, they started poisoning the, <laughs> poisoning the mortals and they didn't take too kindly to that. So might, might explain why, why they're, they were paralyzed and thrown into the, thrown into the ocean to drown. I think I got everything that was here. So then there's the water source and the living water. And I think that's the water source over there. At least it look, looked like it was. Oh, there's another one of these freaking dogs. And I hear a coyote too. Should get the get the tendon from that guy. But let's uh, try to stay focused for at least two minutes. Oh, here we go. Got some more clay over here. So I guess the clay is on the. I got that the water sources then. I might as well drink up here. I hope that's not the poisoned water. Eh, I'm not gonna bother with the cattails. It's it's a good tinder, and you use it to make the uh, uh, bamboo water flasks or what, whatever they are, like that hold 15 units of water. But currently, it hasn't rained for like a week in game, so I don't like I have no way of uh, <laughs> getting water to put in them. So that kind of makes them useless. I think I lost a uh, lost an arrow. I'm pretty sure. Oh, here's the uh, here's the coyote. Oh, let's uh, try to see if we can hit him. Where'd he go? See the tracks here, but oh, he died. And uh, don't necessarily need to bring the meat either, because that's probably going to go bad, but... And another one of those dogs here. Come on, then. No, it's... okay, so... It's over there. Or another dog over here, too. Oh no, that's a uh, coyote. Come here, buddy. Oh, you didn't die. Any oh, you died in two. Yeah, the coyotes do some actual damage. I think the dogs do like, uh, I don't know, like two, four points of damage. But the coyotes do 13 in one one hit, so. And, and that's with the armor that I have on, so. Which is all, also almost broken. That's that's why I need the tendon threads, because I think I have just enough to... Uh, oh, there's the living water. And this looks like some sort of uh, big cat, I guess. So it's night time, so let's uh, just sleep until the morning. Get our health and energy back. Now, which way we're headed? Oh, pretty much 
that way. It's uh, pretty dark here. Now let's have a little breakfast. A couple of a uh, couple of oranges for breakfast sounds pretty good. And another one of those dogs here. There's another bird flying up there, and another dog down there. Looks like two dogs over there. Oh boy, there's a lot of animals around here. Oh, I think that's a, that's a coyote. Nope, oh, wrong arrow. Well. Two tendons from that guy. Definitely good. There we go. That's the correct arrow. Now let's get rid of this bird here. Oh, or at least try to. There we go. I'm not gonna bother skinning him. Now let's see here. Looks like there's the interesting item over here. Oh, I got some more of the, that uh, mold thing. That cures everything, I think. Yeah, cure all types of diseases. Definitely want to be picking that up. Okay, so what do we have here? Algae ointment recipe. Okay. So... What do we... Need the... Cadrilla... Gracilaria? So basically two types of uh, seaweed and then just the white leaf. Okay, that seems... Oh, what did it do? Forgot to... <laughs> forgot to check the effects. Uh, scare away pests. Okay, so that should keep the, uh, like, scorpions and stuff away. Uh, oh. That's completely the wrong way. And we have another dog there. So, did we only have the, uh, yeah, it looks like just the cartographer tree and the special, special object behind that. Oh, well, of course it's rain, it's raining now because I'm, uh, <laughs> doing the video. I was, uh, doing some, uh, off-camera work and, uh, like I said, it didn't, like I was waiting for it to rain so I could replenish my water, uh, water storages, but, uh, it didn't rain at all for well, at least five in-game days. Pretty sure it was longer than that. Oh, and I just realized I didn't bring the Liana rope with me, so let me run back to the back to the raft and pick that up and bring you guys back along. And we're back at the base of the tree. Now we just have to find a way up there. Um, oh, what's this? Oh, this is the interesting item that's next to the tree, so it's the uh, Book of the Hunt. Unlocks a shooting effect. Nice. Written by one of the best hunters of the 14th century. It describes the habits of various types of game hunting for this game, hunting methods and different weapons used. Okay. That'll be, that'll be interesting to see. Not seeing a way up there from here though, so guess I'll just follow the ridge line here. See if I can come on. Maybe I can climb up this. It looks a little bit steep, but oh, there we go. Wasn't too bad. And let's 
Let's go up the tree and try not to fall down. Yeah, I also noticed that I have a have the uh, what, what's it called the uh, stomach ache from from eating. So I went back to the uh, back to the raft and uh, noticed that I didn't have any uh, any medicine with me. So I I had them on the <laughs> in the canoe, but apparently I didn't uh, move it over to the raft. So. I have to I have to deal with it for now. Now let's uh let's get to mapping and see if we can see anything new from here. And we got the mapping radius doubled and we also got the level seven of mapping, which is pretty pretty decent. So we got fifty percent chance of doubling the mapping radius. 30% increased mapping radius and reduced mapping duration by 35%. So not not too bad. Let's see, is there any... Don't really see anything... Anything new popping up on the map, so... The previous... Well, I guess these algaes over here. But the previous mapping range must have covered most of this area too, so... Um, I'm kind of tempted to go over here. So this is where, where we were at the like little temple above, like on top of one of those rocky areas. So I think I'll, uh, get back to my raft, go back to the base and do some, uh, prep work and get the, uh, get the medicine and stuff like that. And then, uh, I'll, uh, probably just run over either to the to the mapping tree or or the little temple there and bring you guys along so this uh oh what's here something glowing here oh that's odd not seeing anything here but oh well but yeah well like I was uh, like I was saying uh, before I got <laughs> distracted again uh i'll uh bring you guys back because i i don't uh i don't think it's all that exciting looking at me just running back and forth all, all the time so i'll uh see you guys in a bit and here we are next to the next mapping tree on the east side of the island and i brought my boat here so we can, uh, if if we have the time, I figure we might as well go and check out the uh, the shipwreck over there. But we'll we'll have to see how how long this episode is <laughs> taking once once we get uh, everything checked out over here. Because I I really want to like get get going from this island, like check out some of, some of the new places. But I also don't want to like leave anything. Un unmapped or unexplored over here so <laughs> that's that's what you guys get with me i'm a hoarding completionist so it is it is what it is let's see there should be maybe a path over here or do i have to go like all the way over and around now uh, let's see can i Climb up these rocks here. Looks like I can. Okay, then it should be straight up here. Now well, let's let's uh, not not run into snakes this time. Hopefully, well, looks like we have to have to do some tree cutting over here to get through. fine and apparently there's a now I'm animal hunting me but I don't see anything so that kind of sucks there we go now, what was this about an animal I don't see any animals here 
But I do see a lot of bones. And a piece of Jatoba gum. And some obsidian. There we go. And got some more of those uh, flexible branches, which I actually don't think I need at the moment. Oh, it looks like there's a pot over here. Well, raw clay pot. Raw clay pot. That's nice. Actually need a couple of those, uh, like, fired clay pots. Okay, so there's an ancient monument here. Uh, and I got another perk point from that too, so that's nice. Um, Song of the Great Thirst. Miraculous was the water of the fountain, gained by the four tribes. But the fo fountain was not infinite. Dozens of stormbreakers were going back and forth to Bimini, but there was not enough water for everyone who desired it. And each boat returning from the island was greeted by hundreds of uh, stretched hands. And many of those who desired the potion were worthy of it, but could not get even one sip. And then one person took the potion, a dozen more asked, why not me? And when one person prolonged his youth, a dozen more asked again, why not me? And the elders saw that seeds of discord were being sown and that trouble awaits if there is so much envy in the hearts of men. Oh, well, that, that makes sense. <laughs> Who wants to be left out from eternal youth? And what do we have? A buffalo potion, okay. And that does uh, heals all diseases and restores maximum health. Oh, 144 health. Over two uh, two hours and twenty four minutes. That's that's pretty good. Is there anything? No, it doesn't look like there's anything else here. So uh, there is a couple of things over here, which is the um, like right next to the um, observatory. So uh, I think I'll uh, make my way over there, and if nothing exciting happens along the way, I'll. Uh, I'll bring you guys back once, once I'm there. And here we are at the observatory. And yeah, the trek was pretty un uninventful and uh, I just killed a couple more of, more of these uh, short-eared dogs and that that's pretty much it. So uh, I'm guessing this is the uh, the cave. We, we got the uh, one of the uh, notes if I can find it somewhere they they said that one of their like one of the earlier expeditions had a guy that was uh, I think that's no that's not it mountain trail map yeah picture shows a mountain trail and the place where they lost their friend and it looks like it's this because there's the observatory and there's the uh, there's the cave so Guess they came up a different way than I did, and it's really dark here. Is it uh, okay? It's night time, so let me go in here. Maybe get some shelter, and uh, I'll sleep through the night and see if I can get some more more light. <laughs> well, it's not not really any any more lighter outside, so guess I'll have to. I have to brighten it up in, in post again because it's really dark here and I can only imagine. Oh, and apparently I just walked into a scorpion. Oh, looks like there's an uh, interesting item. Oh, here's another one. Let's get rid of these guys first. So, there's uh, another piece of the native's map. So, now I have five pieces. And that should uh, allow us to unlock uh, another part of the map, which which should come in handy. And I think I see a skeleton up there with uh, something. Something interesting next to him. Uh, improved torch, okay. I just didn't bring any fire starters with me. And there's a dead Spaniard map, okay. 
And this is the same map that I already found earlier. <laughs> okay. Pretty sure that's the same map. Oh, it's in the journal. Yeah, yeah, I got two of those now, so it's interesting. Okay, I think, I think we've been pretty pretty successful in, in knocking out these locations here. I think that's all the locations on on the island now. And uh, yeah, well, what, might as well uh, go and check out the. Uh, Check out the shipwreck if I can find my way. Okay, I should be able to. Maybe go up here and yeah, I'll, I'll bring you guys back once I'm uh, once I'm back on the on the canoe and uh, we'll go and check out the shipwreck and that should be the last thing on on this island I think. So in in the next episode we'll definitely head out and see if we can. Uh, well, we, we can go into the other areas, but uh, go and check out what we can find from there. But uh, I'll uh, see you guys in a bit. All right, back at the boat now. And let's uh, see what we can find out at the shipwreck here. Shouldn't be too far out. And we got the speedy canoe on us, so... A lot of, uh, lot of those old boxes floating around, I really wish there was a use for them. Or even, like, if, if they had some loot or something. Looks like we unlocked the location. Let's, uh, first things first, let's go up here and, uh... Oh, it's like there's some... Jellyfish over here. Wonder if they're friendly or not. Oh, and I just fell into the water. Come on, get up there. There we go, that's better. Get to the highest spot. Oh, it looks like there's a shark out there. That's that's lovely. Map is unavailable at this location, okay. So I guess I can't map this place. Oh boy. Uh, let's see. There's the uh, number three is our uh, spear. I'm not really too keen on going after the shark, but it uh, doesn't really look like we have an option. So at least if we want to explore the shipwreck here. So... Come here, Sharky. Hello? Where are you going? This way. Oh. He was, uh... Not, not as, uh... Tough as I imagine. It looks like I can't, uh... Can't harvest the shark, because I can't do anything underwater. And it doesn't look like it's, it's gonna float to the surface. Now let's... Can I... Doesn't look like I can do anything with the the jellyfish over here. And looks like there's a oh there's a key over here. Key to the door on the bow of the ship, okay. Uh I think I'll bring in the the canoe a little bit closer so I have a place to get up get my stamina back up. So I don't end up drowning again. I still can't believe that's the only only death I have is, is from drowning in the shore. I was like literally on the shore when I when I died or fainted, as the game puts it. Uh, so doesn't look like we have the uh, have the key. So I'm just guessing it's gonna unlock automatically once we get there. Uh, oh, these look intact, but I can't do anything with those. Same thing with the barrels. Let's see if the vision shows us anything. No, 
Oh, there's a couple of interesting things down there, so... Guessing there's not gonna be much here except in the... in the ship. We'll board up these, uh, these doors. Was it the shark? Uh, Kai. Can I not get in anywhere here? Because there's definitely something in inside, but really must be missing something uh oh I'm missing air <laughs> as well as daylight so let me just sleep through the through the night here hmm oh maybe the big hole on the side of the ship would help Now we can open up the door, and I also should grab some more oxygen before going down there. I'm kind of tempted to try out the uh, the jellyfish if they actually hurt you, but I imagine they, they would, so... I'll probably swim into them by accident anyway, so... Oh, what's this? Set of tools. Okay. That's cool. Like we have a book here, Journey Beyond the Three Seas. I'll look at those once I'm back on on top. Another set of tools, that's that's interesting. There we are. Now let's first look at the map here. I can't look at the map, but uh, I think we we cleared out the whole whole island here. So next next time, definitely we'll start heading up north. But uh, let's see. So this unlocks a swimming effect. A journey beyond the three seas by Afan Siunikitin. I don't know. Uh, travel notes of a Russian traveler from the 15th century. They tell of his journey to India and his adventures along the way. It includes mentions of a shipwreck and swimming rescue. Okay. And what do we do with these uh, tool sets? A rare set of precision tools for crafting iron weapons can be found on sunken ships. Okay. Well, I can't can't craft any any iron weapons, so I haven't even found any iron yet. So I haven't ha haven't even found a copper. So <laughs> that's good. Well, I'm sure they'll come in handy later. But yeah, I think uh, I think that's gonna do it for today's episode. Uh, I apologize if the uh, the episode was a little bit of uh, like a speed run through the through the last locations here, but I really wanna want to get going and uh like explore new new islands as well but i also really wanted to explore the whole whole island and and get all the all the different locations unlocked and it looks like uh looks like we did, did the last ones today so uh yeah in the in the next episode um, unless i change my mind we're gonna Head out to the Buffalo region, as the uh, story storyline tells us. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Check out the link in my description for all my friends' channels. And uh, see you next time. And for today's extra content, I figured I'd uh, read these uh, read these books and see what the effects are that they give us. 
So this one gives us... Oh, we can sprint while swimming. That's definitely something I've uh, <laughs> been trying to do when I'm swimming, but it, it's not working. But now it should work. And then the shooting effect. Let's see what we get from this one. 50% uh, chance ammo takes no damage when shooting. Oh, that's that's also nice. I'm not going to say no to that. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's it. I'll get everything sorted out from the from the boats and uh, get ready for our next next expedition up north so see you guys next time <laughs>